Before I start, I'm just going to throw out that this was one of the most painstaking and time-consuming videos I've ever had to research. There's no resource out there that compares players' performances at a certain age, so this took me hours upon hours to complete. I'm not saying that for sympathy, just to let some people know before they say certain decisions are ridiculous, I didn't just throw this together. Just so we're clear on the concept, we're posing the question, who was the best player ever at each age? So when they were all 25, who was better? Johan Cruyff, Franz Beckenbauer, John O'Shea, etc. Probably not O'Shea, but you get the gist. We have previously done a video on the best players at every age, from 16 to 40 right now. So if that's what you were hoping this would be, and want to watch that, then it is out there. But that was an absolute piece of to make compared to this work of art. Here is the best footballer ever, at every age, from 16 to 40. 16. Pele. Footballers are basically still in nappies at the age of 16, and even the brightest of teenage starlets don't tend to do much until 17. For example, what do you suppose is the most Premier League goal scored by a 16 year old? 5? 10? Nope, it's 2, and the man behind them was James Milner. So few footballers have achieved much at 16. Pele is the rarest of rare breeds though, and having scored on his Santos debut at the age of 15, Pele was the division's top scorer in the 1957 season, most of which he spent as a 16 year old. He also scored two goals from two caps for Brazil against Argentina at 16, so he's the obvious choice here. 17. Pele. By far and away the easiest decision in this entire list, there has never been a footballer on the same planet as Pele at the age of 17. In addition to scoring 66 goals in 46 official matches for Santos, Pele announced himself to the world at the 1958 World Cup. The teenager didn't start the tournament, but once he got in the team, there was no looking back. He scored the winner against Wales in the quarterfinals, a hat trick against France in the semis, and a brace in the final against Sweden, as Brazil won the World Cup with a 17 year old Pele who was already being recognised as the best footballer in the world. There's no one else who comes remotely close to being able to have said that at that age. 18. Pele. Fellow Brazilian great Ronaldo deserves an honourable mention at 18, scoring 35 goals in 36 games at PSV at that age. That made him the Eredivisie's top scorer, but he still wasn't quite at the level of an 18 year old Pele. The Black Pearl scored 53 goals in 43 games for Santos and 11 goals from 9 caps for Brazil as an 18 year old, as European giants desperately tried to lure him away from Santos. 19. Pele. Their attempts were fruitless. Santos' chairman was attacked by fans for even considering an offer from Inter Milan and the Brazilian government soon declared Pele an official national treasure, ruling out any move abroad. Johan Cruyff deserves an honourable mention at 19, which was the most prolific year of his career, bagging 41 goals in 41 games for Ajax in a more attacking role than the one he would later settle into. Pele still takes it though, and incredibly, he scored the fourth international hat-trick of his career at 19. 20. Ronaldo. It's an incredibly tight call between Ronaldo and Pele at the age of 20. Pele scored a frankly laughable 62 goals in 38 games for Santos, but this was the best season of Ronaldo's career. Il Fenomeno, as he'd been dubbed by this stage, scored 47 goals in 49 games for Barcelona, and he was completely unplayable. Frighteningly quick, unbelievable on the ball and clinical in front of goal, if Ronaldo's early 20s hadn't been blighted by injuries, he would have been a genuine candidate as one of the greatest footballers to have ever lived. He won the Ballon d'Or, FIFA World Player of the Year award, and the European Golden Shoe at the age of 20. 21. Pele. It's all looking very Brazilian, and although the year of being 21 could be reflected on with some sadness for Pele, he is still the greatest 21-year-old footballer the world has ever seen. The disappointment stemmed from the fact that this was probably the maestro at the peak of his powers, and he was by far the most feared player going into the 1962 World Cup. He got a goal and an assist in Brazil's opener as he tore Mexico to shreds, but he was injured in their next group match against Czechoslovakia. Pele returned to full fitness before the 1962 Intercontinental Cup though, in which he scored 5 goals in 2 games against the European champions Benfica as Santos won 8-4 in aggregate. 22. Lionel Messi 
Lionel Messi was already the best player in the world at 21, but he made it clear that he had higher aspirations at 22. It was for the 2009-10 season, age 22, that Pep Guardiola moved Messi from the right flank to the false 9 position. The result was 47 goals in 53 games, Barcelona becoming the first team in history to win the sextuple, and Messi winning both the Ballon d'Or and the FIFA World Player of the Year awards by the greatest margins in either awards history. 23. Cristiano Ronaldo There are so many brilliant candidates at the age of 23, which is when a lot of top players really start to lay down their mark. Contemporary superstars Lionel Messi and Cristiano Ronaldo are the two outstanding candidates, and I'm just going to edge towards Ronaldo this time out. The Portuguese wide man turned 23 in February 2008, halfway through a season in which he scored 42 goals in 49 games for Manchester United. Ronaldo was a force of nature on the left flank at this time, and he won the Ballon d'Or, FIFA World Player of the Year, and FIFA World Player of the Year awards at 23. 24. Lionel Messi Quite possibly the greatest peak of any footballer in the entire history of the sport, it was at the age of 24 that Lionel Messi scored 73 goals in a single season, and the age in which he scored half of his 91 goals in a calendar year. Both are all-time records, and both will take some beating. This was Messi at his most prolific, and this one was never really in doubt. 25. Lionel Messi the other half of the year in which Messi scored an incredible 91 goals, he scored 60 goals from 50 games in the 2012-13 season. The competition is a little more intense for Messi at 25 from the likes of Cristiano Ronaldo, Diego Maradona and particularly Johan Cruyff, but he is still the clear winner. 26. Diego Maradona Diego Maradona turned 26 a few months after the 1986 World Cup which many consider to be the highest level of performance ever achieved by a footballer at a single tournament. At the age of 26, the little magician inspired Napoli to the first Serie A title in the club's history, adding a Coppa Italia to make it an incredible double. Fiery, inventive, and simply unstoppable in full flow, this was perhaps the most naturally gifted footballer of all time at the peak of his physical prowess. 27. Lionel Messi after missing out his compatriot Diego Maradona at 26, Lionel Messi wrestles the title back in emphatic style at 27, in what is shaping up to be a very South American heavy affair. It's so hard to say with a player with as much talent and longevity as Messi that the 2014-15 season, when he was 27, might just have been the Argentine's peak. By this stage, the world's greatest creator on a football pitch, Messi scored 58 goals in 57 games made 23 assists, and he contributed to the totality of Barcelona's play as they won incredible quintuplets. 28. Garincha The usual candidates all lurk at 28. Pele was back to averaging better than a goal a game, it was Maradona's last truly great year, and Messi and Ronaldo were busy being Messi and Ronaldo. My choice though, after much deliberation, is the bent-legged angel Garincha. Garincha was 28 at the time of the 1962 World Cup, and in Pelé's absence, he took on the mantle of being Brazil's star man with a boyish spirit and grin, then in the nickname the joy of the people. Garincha was able to roll together all his flair, technique and showmanship with ruthless finishing and creativity, lighting up the tournament to win a second consecutive World Cup. 29. Lionel Messi after a bitterly disappointing campaign in which he only managed 41 goals in 49 games at 28, Lionel Messi found a bit of form again at 29, scoring 54 in 52 for Barcelona. Around this time, only a couple of years ago, Messi's role had started to change again. No longer expected to be involved at all times, Barca were happy for that little magician to flow in and out of games, lulling the opposition into a false sense of security before unleashing one of his devastating runs, laser-like through balls or wicked finishes. 30. Alfredo Di Stefano Alfredo Di Stefano had a long, eventful and ridiculously successful career, as arguably the most complete footballer of all time and undoubtedly the most important signing Real Madrid ever made. Originally a centre forward, Di Stefano was at his peak between the ages of 30 and 31 when he ran the Real Madrid team like a world-class conductor. 
happy to come and pick the ball up off a centre-half or full-back before picking passes, beating players and driving the team forward, De Stefano was like Xavi and Messi all rolled into one. Despite his deeper starting position, he scored 43 goals in 43 games for Real as a 30-year-old, winning the Ballon d'Or as Los Blancos won both the league title and a European Cup. 31. Lionel Messi Never gone for long, this is Lionel Messi's final inclusion in this list since he is 31 right now. That also means that we are referring largely to the season just gone in which Messi scored 51 goals in 50 games. Messi led the way in Europe's top 5 leagues in terms of goals, assists and chances created yet again, and in truth, he was on a different planet. Honourable mentions here must go to Cristiano Ronaldo, Alfredo Di Stefano and particularly Franz Beckenbauer, who had the best campaign of his career. 32. Cristiano Ronaldo Making his second entry in this list, Cristiano Ronaldo turned 32 in February 2017. A completely different player to the one who features a 23-year-old, by this stage, Ronaldo had become a cold-blooded goalscorer. His movement, anticipation and technique when striking a ball were among the finest we've ever seen, and Ronaldo proved his big game credentials once more with a brace in the Champions League final. He sees off for Enk Puskas to take it for 32. 33. Ferenc Puskas Ronaldo is unable to beat Puskas at 33 however, as is everyone else. It is often overlooked that the Hungarian great scored 242 goals in 262 games for Real Madrid, establishing himself as one of the club's all-time greats, despite only arriving at the Bernabeu at the age of 31, having just served a two-year ban from football. His finest season came at the age of 32, but Ronaldo prevented him from featuring there. At 33, Puskas scored 44 goals in 41 games for Real, and his left foot is quite possibly the most lethal one that the sport has ever seen. 34. Ferenc Puskas That man again, and it was never really in doubt here. At the age of 34, Puskas scored 40 goals in 40 games for Real Madrid. 35. Ferenc Puskas The first player since an 18-year-old Pele to make it three in a row in this list, that's pretty apt for Ferenc Puskas, since much like Pele, he was no stranger to a hat-trick in his playing days. We should give very honourable mentions to the likes of Ryan Giggs, who won the PFA Players Player of the Year Award at 35, German legend Fritz Walter, and the incredible Stanley Matthews, but with 31 goals in 39 games during the season in question, and still arguably the finest forward in the world, Puskas takes it again at 35. 36. Johan Cruyff it could just as easily have been Puskas again at 36, but having missed out to the likes of Pele and Messi in his prime years, Johan Cruyff makes a stunning return at 36. Having initially semi-retired at 31, only to return to the game for financial reasons, Cruyff returned to Europe age 34 following a few years in the US. He had two excellent seasons at Ajax, but it's his last season as a professional footballer with Feyenoord, age 36, the season feature here. Cruyff made Ajax pay for letting him go, orchestrating a final side to their first Eredivisie title in 10 years, along with the KNVB Cup. Technique and intelligence are two attributes that should never leave you, and Cruyff had both in abundance. He scored 13 goals and was named as Dutch Footballer of the Year in his final campaign. 37. Lota Mateus a remarkable footballer whose international career spanned two decades, Lothar Matthäus holds the record for having played in the most games at the World Cup Finals with 25. Matthäus was 37 for the majority of the 1998-99 campaign, a season in which he was absolutely impeccable for Bayern Munich as they came within minutes of winning a Bundesliga and Champions League double. A fantastic athlete, competitor and passer of the ball, Matthäus was also named as the German Footballer of the Year in 1999. 38. Stanley Matthews There are a number of occasions in which Stanley Matthews could have featured in this list, but it's at 38 that he gets his first inclusion. When it comes to longevity, simply put, no one comes anywhere near Sir Stan in the entire history of the sport. In a career which began at 17 and finished at 50, when he retired, few were in any doubt about the fact that Matthews was the finest wide player they'd ever seen. 
Matthews was 38 when he finally got his hands on the FA Cup in what is famously referred to as the Matthews Final. 39. Gianluigi Buffon Another very recent one, Gianluigi Buffon turned 39 midway through his excellent 2016-17 season, which proved to be his penultimate campaign at Juventus. Buffon was an inspired form between the sticks as Juve won Serie A and reached a Champions League final. He was named as Serie A Best Goalkeeper of the Year, UEFA Club Goalkeeper of the Year, and the IFFHS's World Goalkeeper of the Year. 40. Dino Zoff from one Italy and Juve goalkeeping legend to another, Dino Zoff is the oldest ever World Cup winner, winning the tournament as captain at the age of 40 in 1982. Such a solid and dependable figure between the sticks, Zoff was named as the tournament's best keeper at 40. 40 plus. Since few footballers have gone on at the highest level far into their 40s, we're just going to surmise the 41 to 50 bracket here. Basically, it will be Stanley Matthews every year, with the exception of 45 when we give it to Billy Meredith, and at 41, he will be run very close by a prolific Romario. So that's it for today's video. Looking at the list as a whole, Lionel Messi leads the way featuring 6 times, trailed narrowly by Pele with 5 inclusions. Then it's Ferenc Buscas with 3, Cristiano Ronaldo with 2, and 8 other players with 1 inclusion each. If we expanded the list from age 16 to 50, which I considered, Lionel Messi drops to second as Stanley Matthews rises to the top with a whopping 10 inclusions. So I hope you enjoyed the video, it was a chronic waste of time if not. Let us know any future video ideas you'd like to see in the comments, no challenge is too big or too small. Thanks for watching, give us a like if you're feeling generous, and do of course make sure you're subscribed to HITC7's, the best channel on all of YouTube bar none.